It was a winter's night time, and it was as dark and as cold as ice. And there the girl was, with her long curly hair hanging right over her shoulders. She was the kind of girl who always felt like she should be helping animals. But on this dark and cold winter's night time, she looked up into the sky, and there she could see a shooting, wishing star. The thing that she wished for more than anything else was that she could become a vet. But for now, as she smiled, a wide red lipped smile, she was going towards the zoo because that was where she worked. On her shoulders, a strong shoulder, she had a ripped long sleeved t shirt. But she knew that even though she had wanted to go out to the expensive restaurant to have her favourite meal of lamb and potatoes, when she'd been given a call by the zoo to come and help the white lion cubs, she didn't hesitate for a second. She always felt as if she should help animals. She liked lots of things. She liked to swim. She liked to go on long holidays by the side of the beach. But she really liked to help animals. She rubbed her small scratched hands together as she got closer. And as she rubbed her own hands together, she thought that the branches of the trees as they swayed this way and that looked like scary snowman's hands as they waved in the breeze. She had been going to go to a restaurant to have a favourite meal of lamb and potatoes, an expensive restaurant. But when the call had been made, she didn't stop. She didn't stop to hesitate to think. She knew that she would have to go and in her hands she had a bottle. A small licking bottle. She'd looked after these white lion cubs ever since they'd become ill. They'd been separated from the mother and father, the lion and lioness, because they were still infective. And almost like a vet, she could take their temperature. She was very good with animals. One thing she'd forgotten about. She'd put on her ripped jeans, but she'd put on her bright blue shining shoes. That was what she was going to go into the restaurant in. When she'd been rummaging around and looking inside of the garage, she'd found some old rusty buckles that she knew must have belonged to her grandmother or her great aunt. But now, she always felt like she needed to help animals. She fed those two lion cubs. They greedily gulped at the warm milk inside her. It was warm on her small scratched hands. And she looked at them. There were sores and cuts on their backs in amongst all of their f in amongst all of the fur. And she used tweezers to pull out all of the matted skin and she looked after them and smoothed the, the fur down. But it was, as she was smiling to herself, she thought she was pleased that she didn't have to look after the baby crocodiles because she couldn't smooth down their fur and the jaws would always be snapping. It was as she smiled and she could smell something. It was her favourite food. Lamb and potatoes. Her friends had saved her meal from the expensive restaurant and if she couldn't eat with them then they would make sure that she could have something to eat inside of the lion enclosure. She was surrounded by her friends and she ate at the lamb and potatoes and thought that this was the strangest way of getting her new bright blue shiny shoes muddy. She was a good girl, someone who always liked to help animals, a kind girl with two contented lion cubs falling asleep in her lap. You can see that this girl is a kind girl. She has a, a wide smiling mouth and bright eyes. Her eyes are as dark and as blue as the sea. Her long curly hair does hang over her shoulders, but she would straighten and pull it away from her eyes with her small scratched hands. She has a mixture of clothes on. A ripped t-shirt, jeans and 
sparkling bright blue shoes with old rusty buckles on. I've no idea where she got those buckles from, but I think it's the way that she looks and smiles that makes her a good girl. I've heard tell that she always likes to help animals and when I look now with those two white lion cubs in her lap I think that she's good at looking after animals. Perhaps she could even become a, a, a vet. Somebody told me that she likes to eat in expensive restaurants. I hope she doesn't go to the expensive restaurant dressed as she is right now. As well as being good and kind I've seen her playing chess. She's almost at a professional level. She doesn't boast about it, which I think makes it even kinder. She doesn't boast about it, but she's very good at chess. I would like her to be my friend. Because someone like this, if they're kind to animals, then they would be kind to me, I would hope. She doesn't look as if she's the kind of girl who doesn't mind getting dirty. And I like to climb trees and I wonder if she would teach me how to look after animals. If she's friendly with them then she'll be friendly with me. She's someone that I would like to go to the, a restaurant with. Because even though she's quite scruffily dressed now, I think that she likes the best things in life. And perhaps she could teach me not just how to play chess, but she could teach me how to enjoy the best food in the most expensive restaurants.